Determining the age of rock formations is an exact science which uses a range of tools. And in the case of the awesome rock layers found in the Guining region, there are also many clues. What we have here once again, it's a Triassic-Jurassic succession, specifically a late Triassic, earliest Jurassic succession. And we know that based on various dating methods, as well as the fossil content of these layers, particularly um, we know it based on vertebrate material, vertebrate fossil material, um, bone fossil material, as well as the footprints. While dating is key to the study, another aspect of the research is to look at the weather patterns. Overall, the overall picture is to better understand the climate change that happened over 200 million years ago. Um, so we want to look at the rocks and find evidence which will show us what was the climate back then um, yeah, and, and, and put everything in a geological context. By looking at the structure of the Elliot and Clarence rock formation, scientists can accurately determine the weather millions of years ago. From the Elliot Formation we got evidence that the environment was fluvial, um, lacustrine, so there were lakes and rivers. And then from the Clarence Formation, because we have this thick succession of sandstone, um, we've got evidence that it was an Aeolian environment, so a desert. Part of the research has also delivered interesting linkages to other parts of the world. We have a very close correspondence to the Chinese early Jurassic material. In particular, there are certain um, so-called mesospondylid uh, dinosaurs, which are found in these red beds that are behind me, also in the Clarence Formation and in China. There, they call differently. Bordy goes one step further, suggesting, like many others, that today's continents were connected in the distant past. Clearly, at the time when, when um, these animals were uh, living in the early Jurassic, there must have been linkages between China and Southern Africa, otherwise you wouldn't have to the level of similarity that we have. They say that a picture paints a thousand words. In fact, rock formations like these behind me paint more than a thousand words because they trace history back hundreds of millions of years. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN on the western side of Lesotho.